and just go about living your life. You know, don't pay attention to, to you know, the warmongering, the conflicts, the bombings, you know, the uh, directed energy weapons that have been happening. Um, because if you put your attention in that and you begin to worry, well, that worry will generate fear. And in that fear will allow more of the of the negativity to continue, you know, so it's best to just stay away from that, you know, uh, treat your mind like, like how you treat your body, you know, your, yeah. how, you know, it's, it, it's really just a matter of like, what are you feeding yourself with, you know, positive information or negative information. So that's just the way I see it. See your mind uh, as, as a very, you know, it's kind of like a mental diet. Does that make sense? Like you, you have a physical diet and then you have to also have a mental diet. Right. Only read and, and and entertain your thoughts or your mind with things that are uplifting. And the more you do that, the more uh, you are going to be elevated into this new reality. That is, all, again, as we pierce through, through the veil, it's becoming more and more apparent. This new heaven on earth. So because unless there's something we can actually do about it, there's no advantage to anyone us knowing and putting our attention on it. It's like that older net scenario they say, you know, about not worrying. Can you do anything about it? Yes. Well, don't worry. Get on and do something about it. Can you do anything about it? No. Well, there's no point worrying about it then if you can't change it. So um, finally, one of the things I wanted to know is what have you noticed most about yourself over the last couple of years? Have you noticed any shifts for you personally? I have. I, I've learned so much, you know, on the last two years. Um, I've learned to... Uh, not pay attention to the negative stuff. I, I've learned to uh, not react, you know. Um, I've learned more about uh, myself in the process, you know. Um, and I'm always growing, just like everyone else, you know. I don't know everything. My cup is always empty because no one knows everything, you know, only God. And so I'm still learning. So as much as I like to teach about galactic and cosmic stuff, I also like to learn more and more. And that's, you know, the way I see myself is I'm always uh, in a constant state of, of improving, of improving myself as an individual. And that's how we grow through experiences. And um, I'm also very observant, you know, very observant of everything. But I'm also very picky as to what I choose to accept in my reality and what not to accept. So... Love it. Love it. Now, you've got some really exciting things coming up. I really want to spend a little bit of time you telling us where are you going to be? Where can people see you in person? And if they can't see you in person, have you got any courses coming up that they can join you on? Uh, yes, I'm actually going to be at the uh, Stairway to the Stars uh, Disclosure Fest conference coming up this weekend in Lux in Vegas at Luxor. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to be speaking on the AI panel on Sunday and on the uh, Earth Ascension panel, as well as doing my own presentation uh, Sunday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at Luxor. And then uh, following that, I am actually going to be on a book tour. So on the 14th of uh, November, I'm going to be in Salt Lake City, Utah. You know, for those that live in Utah, if you guys want to come meet me, I'm going to be giving a uh, two-hour presentation breaking down the entire cosmic structure um the history of the cosmos and galaxy the different advanced civilizations the different races uh, i'm going to cover so many things and um mostly be answering questions and of course you get to spend some personal time with me um so i'm making it very you know uh, small so that way i could give everybody my attention uh, only 50 people so if you guys are interested in attending my book tour event i will give you the link for that you know so on following utah i'm going to be in denver colorado on the 16th of november and then i'm also going to be in st louis missouri on the 20th of november and then i'm going to be in new york farmingdale new york on the 28th of november and then after that i'm going to be in Boca raton florida on the 20 on the 6th of december and then I'm finally going to finish my book tour in Naples, Florida on the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, on the 6th of December, I'm going to be in Naples. On the 4th of December, I'm going to be in Boca Raton, Florida. So, so that's my itinerary for my book tour. Uh, if you guys want to come meet me in person, if you live in those states, that'd be great. It'd be nice to meet, you know, some of the soul tribe out there. And, um, 
Any final words uh, that you want to leave people with? Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, um, I do have a, a real YouTube channel where I actually go live three times a week. And it's called uh, The Real Ishmael Perez. I, 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 of course, I can give you the link because I, um, I want to uh, bring the people that are signed to my pirated channels. I do have a lot of fake accounts, YouTube channels yeah. that are not mine. Those are all fake, by the way. If it doesn't say The Real Ishmael Perez, it's a fake YouTube channel. So I want to just direct everybody from those channels to the right channel in order to get all the updates and information that I, you know, that I go over whenever I do go live. And then, of course, I do uh, answer a lot of questions. It's very interactive. And so, yeah, I, that's it. I've seen a lot of those. And it's really, really important that people don't support those pirate channels. You know, there's a lot of energy exchange goes into this work. And I, I cannot believe how many fake Instagram accounts and channels that I've got everywhere. And you're looking at it thinking, who does this? But, um, you know, try and really stick to the real ones. Because again, it's all an energy exchange and we'd be much appreciated if people did that. Thanks so much. I've really enjoyed that. I'm sure we'll be back again in the new year. Lots of fascinating things to really cover. Really appreciate it and really enjoy those book tours and everything and those events. They're going to be fantastic. Thanks, Ismail. Thank you, Kat.